Tuning in. Recognizing signal words and transitions in listening. Hey there! If you're prepping for the TOEFL or IELTS, or even if you just want to be a more skilled English listener, understanding signal words and transitions is key. Today, we're going to dive deep into this topic. Why? Because they can give you crucial hints about what a speaker is going to say next. Let's tune in. Signal words and transitions are like the traffic signs of a language. Just as a traffic sign indicates what drivers should expect or do next on the road, these words hint at what's coming up in a conversation or lecture. For example, firstly, we need to analyze the data. However, there were a few issues. Therefore, we need to change our approach. In each case, the bolded word gives us a hint about the nature of the information that's about to come. 1. Addition. These are used when adding information or listing multiple points. Examples. Furthermore, moreover, additionally. 2. Contrast. Used to show a difference or opposition between two ideas. Examples. However, on the other hand, but. 3. Cause and effect. These show reasons or outcomes. Examples. Therefore, because, thus, for, sequence, used to order events or steps. Examples, first, then, lastly. 5. Emphasis. These stress the importance of a point. Examples, indeed, in fact, most importantly. When you're listening to a lecture or conversation, 1. Tune into these words, as they act as beacons, guiding you through the content. 2. Predict the next part of the speech. If you hear, however, expect a contrast or opposing point to be made next. 3. Take notes when you hear these words. They can help you structure the main points when revisiting your notes. The best way to get comfortable with these words is through practice. 1. Listen to English podcasts or lectures and jot down the signal words you hear. 2. Test yourself. When you hear a signal word, pause and predict what will come next. Then, listen and check your prediction. 3. The more you expose yourself to authentic English content, the better you'll get at recognizing and understanding these signal words. And there you have it. Remember, signal words and transitions are your guiding stars when navigating the vast sky of English listening. I hope this video has shed light on their importance and helps you on your English learning journey. Until next time, happy listening.